The insurance industry is undergoing some solid recovery. It's also reshaping. But in the wake of new regulations, companies are cautious to leave anyone behind. We get to see uh, new customers join on board. We get to see the existing customers pay up their premiums. And this is because the agents and uh, financial advisors get out of their way to engage these customers. We do celebrate them. According to a recently adopted regional insurer's strategic plan for 2024, 25 and 2028, East African Insurance Association members have up to June 2025 to develop and adopt risk management safety nets. When you're talking about recognition of this agent, of course, this is going to help us in terms of penetrating the market. Because if we reward the agent, okay, they will be disseminating all the information that they get from us in terms of training, new products, new strategy and all that. And the customer will get acquainted to new products and new dimensions of life in general, which is not there. Awareness is not there in this country. Sumit Kumal, the chief executive of GBD Life, also responded to regional insurance sector bottlenecks, touching inadequate financial reserves to cover potential risks and solvency requirements. In terms of solvency, in terms of financial stability, in terms of uh, you know, uh, whatever it takes and whatever is required for us to take off to sell, start selling the pure term product, we are completely stable. So we are just looking at the various strategies, how can we can engage the customer, you know, with very less operational cost, which will also bring down the premium and engage the customer and the customer will also be interested in buying the policy. Despite showing great potential, the insurance market, especially in the East African region, is taking baby steps, particularly in the life segment. To these officials, hand-holding brokers is only part of the process to mitigate existing challenges.